I wanted to welcome you to another virtual showing. Uh, we're going to be looking at 303 Coles Campground Road, and this is also in Murray. So we're going to take a look at this really neat home. It's a three-bedroom, two-bath, but it's also got a full bath at the pool house, fantastic in-ground pool, detached garages. You're going to get a good idea of it. Come on, let's go take a look. This is on an amazing street beautiful spring in Kentucky. This house is sitting on one and a half acres. You can see where the boundaries are, where the mow lines are. Okay, we're gonna go take a look on the inside, so go on in. This is a fantastic living room. It's about 21 feet long. It's 14 feet wide. Lovely neutral paint colors. The kitchen is great. Fantastic and open through the dining room. The upper cabinets have already been removed, so you've got a nice wide open look. Great space for entertaining and having people over. Fantastic pantry space. There's not only one, but there's two. You're about to see the second one. great place to host your gatherings or have your family gather around or friends and looking out onto the pool is great and who doesn't want a window with that view this area is a mud room and there's your second pantry on the right it's a great second entrance to keep all the wet folks from having to traipse through the rest of the house there's that second bathroom there beautifully redone recently. I was taken down to the studs. It's a very nice, sizable walk-in shower and pretty neutral paint. Now here's the way to the rest of the house. There's two bedrooms down this way and the main bathroom on the right. This is a very nice, large bathroom. It was redone about a year ago. Fantastic space. This is going to be the master bedroom. Again, you've got solid surface flooring throughout the whole house. Panel doors. It's really nicely done. This bedroom is about 16 feet long by 12 feet wide. We've got plenty of space in here. There's also three nice windows. There's a great walk-in closet here. And of course, that's gonna be 12 feet wide as well. Plenty of place for storing a lot of stuff, including a nice big safe. <laughs> You've got some great storage there. The closet around the corner is the one that would house a second washer and dryer on the right. This is a, another bedroom upstairs. This is the secondary bedroom. This one is a 12 by 13. Of course, this hobbyist is using it for hobbies. It's a nice size room. It's painted paneling in this one. A pretty minty blue. This is the third bedroom. This one's also 16 feet long by 12.
Again, you've got solid surface floors throughout the upper level, which is nice. Pretty painted panel doors. We're about to enter the basement area. The man cave. The hobby area, the entertaining area, media room. This home is 3,200 square feet. And the basement downstairs has about 1,270 finished square feet. The ping pong table and the pool table can convey. So if you'd like them, they are yours. This is the second set of washer dryer hookups and where they prefer to do their laundry. There's storage underneath the stairs around to the right. Now that is carpeting on the floor down there. There's that secondary washer and dryer hookup upstairs in a hall closet. So with all this space, I mean, this could be a media room, entertainment room, extra bedrooms. They like this for being cozy in front of the fire and watching TV. That's a gas log fireplace. Beautiful brick wall. Can never say you do not have enough storage space in this home. The storage is incredible. For anyone that doesn't like to have all their belongings underfoot, that staircase is an emergency exit. They can go up through the window if needed. There is no uh, walkout basement in this house. There's a uh, central back, and again, more storage measured for Rubbermaid tubs and whatnot. This comes back around into the pool room area. There's great space here. There's accessible up above from your plumbing if you wanted to make a third bathroom down here. But that would be a great area for a, uh, a wet bar. This is your outside. Some beautiful brickwork. Again, it's 1.454 acres. Great space and lots of solitude. Who wouldn't love that view? Here's where all the fun can happen. It's a beautiful saltwater pool. It's pretty deep. There's a diving board at one end. I believe it's nine feet. There are three detached buildings. The one on the left, that is a pool house. There's a full bathroom in there. That one is another garage, a workshop, hobby shop. And the large three car detached, that is 32 feet wide, 24 feet deep. That has a, its own water heater and I believe washer dryer hookups there, a sink, and around the corner is a full bathroom got a walk-in shower come out in the sink in there. This is the workshop area. Of course you've got plenty of power. Great for a hobbyist. You name your hobby and we have got room for it here in this property. It's the back side of the pool house and of course the fence around the pool. The property goes all the way over to that electric pole. You see a lot of pavement here. To, you have nice paved parking area. 
That three car, of course, has a man door also. And it's long enough for his 30 foot boat. It'll be long enough for yours.